My name's Sue and this is Sue Marie P and this cake is so good. It's so moist and delicious. It's my cinnamon, my new cinnamon spoil cake. I've made it in my gorgeous new crown bunt tin pan and I just had to share it with you. It looks so good. We've eaten almost half of it already. So if you'd like to see how I make this gorgeous cinnamon swirl bundt cake, come with me. So first step is we need to prepare the tin and I've got some melted butter in here. I'm just gonna brush all the little crevices. Set that to one side. Next step, we're adding white spelt flour, 300 grams. It's about two and a half cups. Three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking soda or bicarb soda. One teaspoon of vanilla powder, or sorry, vanilla sugar. That could be swapped out for vanilla extract, which you could add later and eighth of a teaspoon of fine salt. Whisk all those together. Set that aside. Grab another bowl. We're going to add unsalted butter, one cup, or 225 grams or eight ounces. That's been softening at room temperature and 200 grams of white sugar. Going to whisk that until they're light and fluffy. It's really fluffy now. Now add in two of the eggs and beat until just combined. The next two eggs. You may want to grab your spatula and just scrape the outside of the bowl. This is optional, but I like adding in some orange zest. So I've zested one whole orange. So there's about two teaspoons. I'm just gonna pop it all in. Beat to combine. Grab the bowl of flour back, and I'm just gonna add a third of that. And I have one cup of yogurt here. I'm using Turkish yogurt. You can use sour cream as well. So I'm just gonna do half of that. Mix until combined. What you need to be careful with is not to over mix it. This stellar cake is better just mixed to combined. So more flour. The balance of the sour cream or yogurt. This is natural Turkish yogurt. Balance of the flour. Or the flour mix, I should have said. Because I don't want to over mix it. I'm just going to just fold in the last bit with my spatula. And the batter should be nice and thick. It's perfect to have a thick batter for a bundt cake. We don't want the mixture too runny. All the flours combined. I've got it from the bottom. So just set that aside, grab another small bowl and in here I've got two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add four tablespoons of brown sugar. Just stir that together and that will be our cinnamon swirl mix for the middle. So grab your bunt tin and we're going to add half of the mixture. We added slightly too much to the base. So I'm going to smooth the top, then clean up any batter. <laughs> I'll just do it with my finger. Just tasting the batter. Mmm, it's delicious. Grab a plastic knife, and we just want to run the knife inside our cake just to create the swirl. 
and my batter's not full to the top so that's perfect and I'm using a plastic knife so I don't damage my new bunt tin. Now we tap it a few times just to get any air bubbles out and I'm going to bake my bunt cake in the oven at approximately 180 no fan if you've got a fan forced oven maybe pop it down to 160 and I bake it for 50 minutes. I'm over here at my oven and I'm just checking the cake because it smells cooked so I'm popping the skewer in and it's coming out clean. I've got about five minutes left on my 60 minute timer but I'm going to take it out. It smells divine. So I'm back at the bench and I need to flip this cake out so what I need to do is I want to zoom you in so you can see how I flip it but you won't see my face. So take your wire rack and place it on top of the pan and then we go one, two, three, flip. And hopefully it comes out because I didn't um, go around it with a knife, which I usually do. So let's have a look. It's a bit tricky because the tin's still hot. I think we've got a lift off. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. Check out how gorgeous that is and all the little beautiful ridges. I need to let that cool for at least 30 minutes to an hour before I cut into it. Then I can show you what it looks like on the inside. So I've let my bunt cake cool and I've just sliced into it. I love this style of bunt cake because it's got the ridges and I just slide the knife on either side of the pick and then it forms a really gorgeous slice. I've cut it on the baking rack and not a breadboard and it's still warm so it probably should let it rest for probably at least until it's cool but I can't wait. Mm. This is so good. It's so buttery. I love the little um, addition of the orange zest. Mm. The cinnamon swirl. It doesn't even need the icing. I love this style of cake. Maybe we'll have it for breakfast. I hope you've enjoyed my cinnamon swirl spelt bunk cake. Give it a go. Pop a comment below if you like the recipe and you want to see more bunk recipes in this beautiful crown tin and stick around I'll pop a few other videos up above for some other spelt cakes and don't forget if you clicked on for the first time and you love spelt flour and you like my style of video subscribe I do two videos a week Thursdays and Saturdays thanks again see you next time bye yum 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 <laughs>